Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Legacy Life podcast. And I am so excited. I say that every time, don't I? But I really am because I have the amazing Nicola Humber here from the Unbound Press. So she's going to tell us a bit about who she is, what she does, and we're going to talk about a project that we are doing together. We are doing a collaboration which I am massively excited about. So, um, hello, Nicola. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> really good to be here. Yay, great to have you. So, um, can you just introduce yourself, please? Mm, yes, I can. So, I am an author, and as you said, also founder of The Unbound Press, which is a soul-led publishing imprint for magical beings to write transformational books so we work primarily with women um, or anyone who identifies as a woman to share their stories and share their magic in the world and I mean I really came to this by accident and I'm sure it's probably something that will come up in our conversation um, you know, I never planned to be running a publishing imprint, but since we launched the Unbound Press kind of two and a half years ago now, it's, I just know this is the sole work that I'm meant to be doing in the world. So I think it really ties in with the work that you're doing around legacy as well. Yes. Um, yeah. I love that, that, that soul led part. Um, because in this project, you know, who we're really calling in is soul-led entrepreneurs, you know, people who have a message they want to get out there, people who uh, are have a sense of the impact that they want to have mm -hmm. in the world, the legacy that they are creating. And we'll talk a bit more about legacy, because some people who I've spoken to seem to think, I'm too young to even be looking at my legacy. And I'm just like, what? But I realize the way I connect with legacy is maybe different to other people or um, different to the, to the definition that is in the dictionary. I've got a dictionary right here. I went, oh, have a look at it. And um, in the dictionary, it says something left in a will, something left by a past owner or predecessor, a legacy of mismanagement. Oh, uh, <laughs> that just made me go. Bleh. <laughs> I was like, that is not inspiring. And that's not how I connect with legacy at all. So no. I went, OK, like dictionary, you're out the window. Let's uh, chuck that over there. And then I looked at I thought I've got to go. I've got to go go on Google, have a little search. And one of the bits that came up here which was under a, a, a bit when I did a Google search on how would you describe your legacy? It mm. says here, so there's another definition, something transmitted by or received from an ancestor or predecessor. So that's what they're saying in the, in, in the dictionary mm. in, in, in a more bleh kind yeah. of way. <laughs> <laughs> then it also says legacies include, uh, then it says legacies include gifts of money and property and just as important. And this is a bit, this is the bit that gets the juice flowing. Yeah. Just as important, the story of our lives, the values we tried to live by, the lessons we learned and what we started and hoped others will continue. So there's that <laughs> and becoming conscious of that now. It's not, like not on our deathbed, yeah. you know, not when we're in our 70s, 80s, 90s or whatever. It's like, I see it that our legacy as being something we can consciously engage with now absolutely that we can dream into with the knowledge and with the knowing that actually we have no idea what our impact is going to be actually so we can have that dream we can have those visions and those goals and and strive to have a positive impact in the world, to make a difference, to, to hold a vision and grow that, but to know just as in our, in our lives and with a book that we have no idea how many people a book will touch. We have no idea how many people will 
you know, for one person, they might read that and that might be the catalyst for them to completely transform their life from one of the stories within this book. So that is the thing that excites me. So I'm really passionate. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't just kind of leave it at the definition from the Ugh. dictionary because I mean that is so dry and Ugh. dusty and mm -hmm. but that is the old yeah that is the old and, old and one paradigm. of the things about this project and this this book and the way I connect with legacy and life in general is to um be ushering in the new Absolutely. it's it's a new way of thinking and I, and I tend to attract people to me who are thinking outside of the box these soul-led entrepreneurs right who are going life doesn't have to be this narrow view this narrow feel, field that is presented in general society you know and it's this thing about getting connected with possibility like I got that I yeah. woke up from the matrix right I got that I got that anything is possible. Um, it was uh, 19 years ago mm. when I really got that. I went on this transformational seminar and it was like, oh my goodness, anything is possible. Like really, yeah. truly. And my parents been saying for years, you can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. But I, I didn't believe it. I, it. It wasn't, you know, I didn't get it until that weekend when I was like whoa and there was no going back from that there was no going back to um yeah it was that was when I woke up and people get that awakened moment at different times and it's those kind of moments that people will be sharing in 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 their story right yeah absolutely these, these moments of transition these moments of breaking point that take you to that place that next level, that place beyond that breaking point where you go, no more of that. Now, you know, life goes in a new direction. Yeah. When we wake up and often, you know, the things that cause that in our lives tend to be unfortunately tragedy, something horrible happening, something really difficult happening, loss, grief, those kind of things. Um, or going on a, you know, a weekend seminar and going, Boing, and Tony <laughs> Robbins blows your mind or somebody else or whatever it is for you, there will be something that sparked that for you, you know. Um, and this book could be that for somebody. Well, that's the thing. And we never yeah. know. We never yeah. know. And sometimes, well, very often, I think that can be the, the case. Like our books go out into the world. Mm our stories go out into the world and people read them, people connect with them. And sometimes we get to hear about what they've experienced or what they've taken from it, but very often we don't. Yeah. So it's a process of kind of, of trust as well, kind of yeah. letting go of any attachment to, oh, like it's going to have this really specific impact. And it's like, no, we don't know. We just send it out into the world mm. and let it do its thing. Yeah. Magic. magic. It is magic, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, I definitely think. Um, or no, books are magical. And when you talked there, Sarah, about bringing through the new ways, mm -hmm. and that's such a huge part of our vision at the Unbound Press. Like, I really believe that these books um, are a way that we can be bringing through the new. Mm -hmm. uh, we get to connect with that as we're writing sometimes we're not sure about I'm mm -hmm. not really sure exactly what I'm writing about here but through the writing process you get that clarity so each book is bringing through something new and each book is part of a greater whole mm. um, yeah the magic just ripples out basically <laughs> yes and I, I you know I love that um this this sense of it being an, an organic process so mm. i'm in the, in the process right now of reaching out to people you know so if anybody's listening to this and you're thinking i want to be part of that project you need to get in touch with us like now now yes. now now yeah. this is happening now this thing is going to be birthed by the middle of june it's going to be birth written and done right it's happening quickly. it's happening quickly <laughs> it's going it's happening quickly and it's going to be out this year so yeah. if you're listening to this, you need to get in touch like now um, and you need to be ready to 
go on a journey with openness and trust because actually um, what I love is this organic part of it as well. Like somebody asked me, well, what is the book about to, today? And I was like, I don't, I don't fully know what the book will have in it yet because mm-hmm. the people haven't arrived yet because it's a co-creation. It's an unfolding. Yeah. Yes, I know that we want inspirational stories. Yes, we, I know we want, um, you know, I, I know I want to be working with soul led entrepreneurs, people who have a vision, who have a mission, who are connected with a sense of a bigger picture that the, their work is part of, uh, you know, a bigger calling, if, if you like, mm. um, and they have a message to get out there. But until this book is made, I cannot describe it. We don't have a name for it yet. The name will come in the process of the writing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, Ah, so exciting it is it's like, it's like this journey of discovery and I think that can be the case well that's the way I hold space for writing a book whether it's an individual's book or a collaborative book like this mm. one um, mm-hmm. but even more so when it's this process of co-creation because mm. um, we just don't know at this point like how everything and everybody is going to come together this mm-hmm. unique constellation of beings who are going to come together in this book (laughs) I love that unique constellation of beings I love that yeah and just allowing ourselves to discover what wants to come through Mm -hmm. as we as we come together and as we write and I just want to say like if people are listening or watching and thinking oh but you know, I don't know if I'm a very good writer and yeah. I'm not really sure what I would be writing about or what I could bring to this. I really invite people just to put any of those kind of preconceived ideas about what it means to be a writer to one side. Mm-hmm. But I imagine everybody who's kind of listening to this connected to you, Sarah, like, you know, feels drawn to your work. They are going to have something really important to express and to contribute and like we're already like writing is just a form of communication we're Mm -hmm. already you know we communicate day in day out in so many different ways and I think sometimes when it's related to a book we can get up into our heads and think oh but it has to be done in this really specific way Mm -hmm. we can be really creative and free about how we write and that's definitely going to be the case with this project oh it's so exciting yeah and thank you for saying that about um because what I what I've experienced already since I started this process which really probably started it started at the end of last year when I went I want to write a book in 2021 that's when it started. I didn't even know what book it was going to be at that point. I have about three yeah. different books. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know what book this is going to be, but I know I set it my, myself a goal. And I've been talking about writing a book probably for, I remember being at a New Year's Eve party two or three years ago going, oh yeah, next year I could write a book. Ooh, and I didn't do it. So, um, you know, this is it happening. And I decided, absolutely this year is the year that I I'm gonna you know write a book and then I was doing um I was actually doing a a course uh, a manifesting kind of course where I was really connecting with my higher self connecting with my soul connecting with my guides connecting with that that woo-woo stuff right Mm -hmm. (laughs) Or I don't even like the word woo woo. Just no. the, just the, you know, connecting with energy, connecting with that which is bigger than myself. And and when when I was in that place and in a place of meditation, what came through for do, for the book for this year was do a collaboration, Sarah. And I was like, oh, and I hadn't even thought of that. Mm. I hadn't even thought of that. Um, But, you know, something, one of my superpowers and something that I have done for a long time is held space for people, is brought people together, connected people. That is something I do all the time. Um, 
And so, it, of course, it makes sense to do a collaborative book because it's part of who I am is, is holding space, mm. somebody who holds space for others. So, and it's such, I just feel like there's like collectively, there's a lot of energy around anything that is collaborative, anything that is community focused, anything. Mm -hmm that's co-created like I've been noticing it more and more um that you know we want to be letting go of any idea that we have to do it all on our own mm -hmm. and actually when we come together um I mean sometimes it can it can feel a bit like the word unruly comes up for me a lot you know it can feel there's a lot of energy there's a lot of different people and there's a lot of abundance there actually mm -hmm. but we're kind of conditioned to believe oh no we should be able to do it on our own mm -hmm. and maybe it's easier to do it on our own because then we just have to worry about ourselves and not think about anybody else mm -hmm. but actually I keep coming back to that word magic like the magic that happens when a group of us come together to create something is um well it's boundless it mm -hmm. really really is and I just feel these times that we're living through, like the call is definitely to be co-creating. Yeah. And yeah. Collaborating. Mm -hmm. so I love that that was coming through for you. Yeah. You're such a visionary. <laughs> oh, thank you. Visionary. <laughs> One of the things that's come up for me as well since I've been connecting with this is it is a transformational process. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, this, this is a transformational process and stuff is going to come up, right? Yeah. Um, during the process of doing this. And I think that's what happens with everybody. And maybe that's the aspect of writing a book that people um, don't realize is going to happen. I suspect if you speak to anybody who's ever written a book, they'll go, oh yeah, you have no yeah. idea. <laughs> I, I ran a, a project like based on that very thing a couple of years ago, the Magical Portal Project, because I see books as like these portals that mm. we kind of create them for ourselves as we're writing them. Um, so we kind of go through this portal as we're writing our books and then each reader, um, the book becomes like a magical portal for each reader as well. So transformation is such is such a key part of it or being open to mm -hmm. it being a transformational process yeah and I think when I first started writing when I was writing my first book and I was like I don't know how to do this like I'd always written but I'd never written a book and all of the information out there seemed very kind of head based to me you mm -hmm. know it was more practical and it's like we plan it all out at the beginning and you know exactly kind of what you're going to be writing and you just kind of get up every day and spend so many hours writing and then your book's done. And that wasn't my experience. It was really, like I said earlier, this process of discovery, of unfolding, like allowing mm -hmm. it to unfold. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have planned it out. Well, I could have planned it out at the beginning, but it wouldn't have ended up like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And I had to allow myself just to, to surrender to the process. Yes. And that's what made it so transformational. Mm -hmm. Like what came through, what, you know, writing my books has led to the creation of the Unbound Press. And like I said, that was never expected. Yeah. And, you know, people did, had said to me, like, especially when I was writing my second book, Unbound, um, a couple of people were saying to me, oh, I could see you doing this and helping other people to write their books. So mm -hmm. I was like, no, that's not me. <laughs> I'm never going to do that. <laughs> like a year later, the idea of the Unbound Press um, was presented to me. And in that moment, I just felt a sense of knowing in my body that that's what I was meant to do. Yes. But any time before that, I just wasn't ready mm -hmm. for that. Like, it was in that moment, everything, I'd been through this process of transformation and I was ready to receive that idea. So, yeah, I, I love that. And it's made me think that, you know, people listening to this, you know, yes, there's an invitation here if you want to be part of this project. Um, but it is it is a um it is that thing of being ready 
because this is going to work move with the velocity because it's happening it is happening now and it's going to it's going to be done quickly yeah so um you know the writing process will be over 21 days so um yeah so it you know it's it's probably won't be for everybody you know it will be for those who are ready and if, I love what you said about you feeling in your body and mm -hmm. it's like that for me I, it's a really visceral thing for me that when things feel right I yeah. get that kind of soul click in my body yeah and so if you're listening to this and you're getting that and you're like <gasps> Oh. yeah get in touch <laughs> if you're getting the tingles get in touch you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. because I just want to say like my head didn't think I was ready at that point like, yeah, in my, exactly. body, my head was like no what are you thinking you don't know how to do this you've never done this before yeah um, and right up like through the time that we were launching the Unbound Press like, I would wake up in the middle of the night and it'd be going over in my mind like I don't, I don't know how to do this what am I doing? <laughs> what? Um, so I had to kind of let go of that and come mm. back into my body and that sense of knowing and yeah. like what's unfolded from that point on like from very early on like as soon as we launched the Unbound Press people were coming it's like I just know that I need mm -hmm. to publish my book with you like there was this sense of resonance it's yeah like, Head make that decision it never would have happened and I had the same thing with you you know yeah, with, yeah, with you like, you yeah. being the publisher I was yeah. like it's not a head thing it just felt feels right and it's yeah. the same with doing a collaborative book yeah it was like you know my, my soul was telling me whispering to me that's the thing go do that now me talking about it being a transformational process I I went yes my soul went yes I went oh yes and I could see and I could feel it and da, 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 and then I went oh and then my head went how's it gonna happen da, da, da. who's gonna want to do it uh, how are you gonna make it happen time huh, 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 all the stuff and then um, and, and then I I kind of backed off for it from it you know mm. um and had to you know deal with the that yeah. <laughs> going on <laughs> to get back into soul alignment again to get back into alignment with what is coming through me and this is the thing our stories come through us the writing comes comes through this through us you know um it, it is not so much of an intellectual thing it kind of you know when we can relax and you know what we're going to be holding space uh, mm -hmm. collaboratively for the people on this project to be able to um, allow their story to come through them and be expressed through them. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of getting out of the way as much as yeah. possible. <laughs> it's getting ourselves out of the way. Get our heads out of the way. Yeah. yeah. And I completely get that because, you know, I'd never thought of doing a collaborative book until late last year. Um, we did our first one through the Unbound Press with the Unbound community. And the idea um, for that one dropped in. I was on a call with Sarah Lloyd, who does like PR for myself and the Unbound Press. And right at the end, she was like, oh, I'm just getting this idea. It was like a download that we could do some kind of collaborative book. Mm -hmm. And that was at the beginning of November. And she said, oh, we could do it about like people's experiences for 2020. And we had an Unbound Writing Challenge that we run every, once every year, at, like the third week in November. And I'd known that I wanted to do something kind of different and special around that. And I was like, well, maybe it could tie in so we could do it, you know, as part mm -hmm. of that. So that happened really quickly. And my head immediately went into, oh, no, that's too quick. Like, how are we <laughs> going to do this? The logistics, and, you know, yeah. all of the stuff. And will anyone want to be part of it? Yeah. Um, will we get enough people? Mm -hmm. you know, we had more than enough people. There was so much interest. Um, and we did. We managed. I mean, we did it. Actually, people only had about a week to write their piece for that. <laughs> Sarah, so we've been really um generous with people giving them some more space for this one yeah but the book was pretty much created like pretty much we had to kind of go back and kind of edit and put it together but mm -hmm. the pieces were written within a month of that initial idea dropping in mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. 
like I said, my head freaked out about that. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, how did that happen? So, so I can understand why my head freaked out as exactly. well. I mean, it's a slightly longer process, but yeah. not a huge amount longer. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Um, but, it's it's probably a couple of months, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it is understandable. Um, <laughs> you know, I think that sense that creates a sense of momentum. Yeah. If we said, oh, okay, we're going to do this over six months, and uh huh. Um, yeah, it's easy to kind of get lost in that. Whereas, yeah. you know, this is a really lovely amount of time. You know, we're going to be holding that mm. space. We're going to have group writing sessions, which are incredibly powerful when we mm-hmm. all together like that so I'm excited <laughs> I am so excited as well one of the one thing I wanted to mention and circle back to that you mentioned earlier in terms of obviously the Unbound Press works with women yeah this particular book will have women and men in yeah. in the book so one of I've, I've shared on this podcast before that one of the 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 things that have been coming through for me for quite a few months um, in terms of legacy Mm. is for me to be helping to create a legacy of feminine social change Mm. where feminine and masculine qualities are equally valued in our world so that's the kind of world our children are growing up to in 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 the future right we're not quite there yet no Uh, yeah so (laughs) we're really not (laughs) we're really not but yeah and when that dropped in like as a kind of download I was like what what? how do I I don't know how I connect with that and one of the ways is through this book you know Mm -hmm. is to have that representation of the feminine and the masculine and that sort of divine feminine that divine masculine aspect again keying into the the life can be what we make it it can be what we dream it to be um and more that we you know our imagination is kind of a bit limited compared to what can actually unfold you know but you you know we can get that process going with with that that dreaming and that envisioning (laughs) <laughs> got it out sometimes it's easier to write the words than to say it yeah <laughs> with some words it's really like that isn't exactly it? exactly <laughs> uh, I mean I just I think that's that's really beautiful and I love that because like, I very much see the writing process and certainly the unbound writing process as this blend of the masculine and the feminine Mm -hmm. uh, allowing both of those aspects of ourselves um, Mm -hmm. come Mm -hmm. through in the writing process yeah you're really in this place of flow and receptivity and like surrender as we spoke about but also Mm -hmm. kind of create creating um some kind of structure or container to hold that Mm -hmm. so the masculine Mm -hmm. is really supporting the feminine yeah Um, so I love that's going to be reflected in the contributors to the book as well. Absolutely. Uh, so today I was really going, mm, feeling into, um, you know, the, the, the masculine element that will be coming through and, and, and part of that. And it will be heavily biased towards the feminine. Because mm-hmm. one of the ways that I see in terms of bringing balance uh, through the work that I do, because we're living in a masculine, heavy, out of balance, patriarchal world, is to empower the feminine yeah. and you know help the feminine rise. So you know the book will be do- predominantly have those voices in because those are the voices that need to be heard more in our society. Yeah, and yeah. and and have the you know uh, that masculine element in. But it will, the book will be, um, have more women, female contributors than male. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. I get that. I mean, that's why we focus on, you know, primarily female women authors at the Young yeah. Press, because, like, historically, and even 
not historically, even now, like many women, or certainly those who've been socialized as girls, were brought up to hold back and mm-hmm. like to squash our voices down and to mm-hmm. feel that our that our voices, our expression has no value or has less value. So um yeah, I'm totally available for for elevating those voices and mm-hmm. on the platform. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm feeling like we need to bring this to a close. (laughs) Um, And uh, however, you know, I want to point out if people are listening to this podcast um, before July, well, well, you know, before June um, 2021, yeah. then, you know, there's an opportunity to be involved in the very first collaborative book. I have already been thinking, I, I flip between, oh my gosh, I, I, how would I ever get enough people to, what if I have too many, <laughs> you know? Another and maybe, <laughs> you know, maybe there might be another book later on if that's the case, you know, if we have loads, uh, you know, that it might be possible to do a series or something like that. But anyway, we don't know. We don't know until, you know, until we've done it so um you know do get in touch with myself or Nicola or both um if you're listening to whenever you're listening to this um and if you are wanting to be part of this very first uh book that is happening now 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 get in touch now 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 (laughs) basically it feels right just just get in touch yes <laughs> we'll hold space for the rest don't worry about it yes yeah <laughs> and yeah and it's interesting because you know sometimes I go into oh, you know time and then I just have to relax because actually there is plenty of time there's lots of time mm-hmm. and um the great thing about having uh this collaboration process is you know compared to writing a book uh, individually yeah you know the quantity of writing is obviously far less because you're writing one chapter you're not writing like 25 you know yeah. you're writing one chapter exactly. so um yeah yay and you get to have like your copies of the book like in your hand yes a special moment <laughs> oh yeah so yeah each contributor gets 10 copies of the book so yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, seeing those going out into the world and people receiving them and mm. being able to hold your book in your hands. I just think that's, yeah, such a special moment. So Yes. Yay. <laughs> Amazing. So, um, yeah, we look forward to hearing t- from whoever's wanting to reach out. And I hope we've inspired you today to think about a bit about what legacy is, or can be, or could be, mm. and also what writing could be as well. You know, I hope it's given you some freedom today. Mm, absolutely, I, and you've inspired me, Sarah. That um, you know, talking about legacy, uh, you really helped me to see it in a different way. So thank you. Thank you very much. 